we are just entering the industry at the entry level so more like a, at a graduate engineer level or a eit or engineering training level so the kind of tasks that you are typically uh, expected to uh, perform is you know the analysis and design of elements which means like you have to just you know develop your analysis models you have to apply loads you have to an analyze those uh, structures and then design those elements and then obviously uh, have to dis discuss with your supervisor and all like if things are making sense but that's kind of one aspect of you know the entry level task the other would be say construction administration task where you know you'll have to review some of the shop drawings and then also say answer some of the rfis which are coming from site so this is so construction administration is more something which is you know helping uh, something to be done on site so based on whatever drawings we had published so based on that the uh, fabricator or the contractor actually interpret their stuff and then they pro they publish their drawings and they share that, that back to us based on their interpretation of our drawings and then we kind of you know make sure like whatever they have interpreted of our drawings is actually correct i mean that's what uh, entry level guy would also kind of do in addition to that some quantity estimation tough task as well or you know boq as they call like bills of quantities and also wherein you have to you know make sure like whatever say it's a rcc building so whatever kg per meter cube reinforcement that you're using or whatever kg per meter cube of uh, you know slab you're using and things like that so, i mean the concrete quantities the seal quantities or whatever so that's something we have to i mean we have to do kind of so that to make sure like whatever we are doing is in line with what was expected and then also we might be able to you know uh, ask to develop some tools you know to make the uh, productivity a bit more better and then lastly some site visits that you might be able to you know go for and then uh, now let's just quickly touch upon the uh, roles and responsibilities as a, at a senior level so at a senior level i mean the kind of position you will be uh, at is you know so the senior engineer or the assistant manager or the design manager area and then your uh, roles and responsibilities more kind of you know interfacing with the clients in terms of uh, say you'll have to coordinate with other trades like you know mechanical or architecture or plumbing guys or the underground utilities and just make sure like whatever structure uh, we are coming up with there's no clash or anything with them we have to have a bunch of coordination meetings with them to make sure like there's no clash or anything or if there's any clash at all if there's identified a clash then in that case what kind of solution that we can give so that you know as i said before like the structure and the other trades could actually live in harmony for the success of the project and then we also kind of uh, as a senior engineer you are also expected to kind of lead of lead a team of engineers to deliver projects and then you also need to kind of validate the quantities uh, and qc the work that was done by the uh, junior level guys so that we need to make sure okay whatever the junior guy is coming up with is kind of making sense and then uh, address some complex issues identified on site maybe on site there is some issue say the concrete that we had the design concrete strength that we are targeted for that actually not achieved or maybe there are some other issues that have been identified on site so the senior guy is supposed to kind of identify those and then address those accordingly and then also you know uh, we need to also start networking and becoming visible among competitors and clients so that ultimately when you go to the top management level you are able to bring in projects for the company and then uh, once you are in the top management basically you are either a project manager or a managing director of a company and things like that so over there you basically are expected to handle the project financials whether the project is actually making loss or profit and things like that and just keep track of that and then make sure like whatever project you are working on is making profit for the company then work on some business development aspect wherein it's basically you know getting more and more projects for the company and then have that proper networking with the client so that you get recurring business from the same client or maybe get new clients and all then some of the office and company budgets and things like that so that's what you are expected to do when you're in top management and then creating the vision core values of the company etc and then uh, lastly maintaining a professional relation with the potential clients for healthy business and i guess lastly what i would like to touch upon is just some of the common sectors that we typically uh, i mean any structural engineering firm that commonly deals with say we have aviation wherein we are talking about airport terminals or concourses and then we have sports like the sports stadia or stadia roofs and then we have parking structures wherein we are talking about parking garages or contracts and then we have healthcare projects like hospitals or maybe outpatient clinics and things like that then we could have amusement parks or theme parks or convention centers the residential where in which is really common in india as well like most of the structural engineering firms are actually working on the residential buildings and then lastly some of the hospitality aspects like hotels schools etc so yeah uh, i guess that's what uh, i wanted to uh, cover for today uh, thanks thanks a lot for hearing me patiently